eucalyptus trees, with their incredible diversity, are part of the fabric of Australia. Their distinctive silhouettes, the texture of their trunks, their striking flowers, and that telltale scent of their leaves. Not all of them become towering giants like this Eucalyptus grandis. So if you do have ambitions to grow a eucalypt at home, there are plenty of smaller species well suited to a garden bed or even a pot. Mallies tick a lot of boxes for home gardens. These are eucalypts that have multiple trunks growing from a woody lignotuber tuber at the base. Mallies are typically smaller than their single trunked counterparts, often ranging between four and 10 metres tall. They also respond well to pruning, which means you can keep them compact. These three examples illustrate why selection will be your most difficult task. They all have their own unique combination of features. The fine blue-grey leaves are the highlight of Eucalyptus spafulata, or swamp mallee, giving the tree a tight and frothy form at a distance. It's from the wheat belt region inland from Perth, and in season, it produces tiny white flowers. It's the buds that are the draw card on Eucalyptus forestiana, or fuchsia mallee, from the Esperance region of WA. They're bright red, and they appear at the very end of the branches for maximum exposure, like Christmas tree ornaments. These give way to bright yellow flowers. The buds on Eucalyptus erythrochorus, or Iliari, from the Durian to Shark Bay regions north of Perth, are also a feast for the eyes. And so are the yellow flowers. The large woody fruit, strappy leaves, and smooth bark are all standout features. See what I mean? Each has its own charm, but all of them would make a striking feature plant in a pot. But there are some things to keep in mind, and I'm going to use this fuchsia mallee to demonstrate. This is a good size to plant. It's big enough to make a bit of an impact, but not too big, making it hard to handle. The pot itself is really important. This is big enough so this tree can grow for a couple of years and develop decent roots. Also, it's big enough and heavy enough so it won't topple over in the wind when the tree gets a bit of a canopy going. Now, the shape is also important. Avoid pots that taper off because it makes it impossible to pull the root ball out when you want to pot on or plant out later. And of course, decent drainage is a must. So make sure there's a hole or holes in the bottom. The right potting mix is critical. A few years back, I had a young Eucalyptus rhodantha in a pot that died because the mix didn't have adequate drainage. The one I'm using here is a blend of sand, coir and composted pine bark and is much more porous so the roots won't rot. A bit of coarse mulch on top will help to keep the roots cool and also looks good. Regular watering during dry periods is important, but the water needs to be able to freely drain through. Eucalypts prefer full sun, so find a good spot for it. You'll also need to repot it every few years, or better still, plant it out into the garden so it can reach its full potential. But in the meantime, you'll be able to enjoy it just like this. 